So everybody, I was part of a um, stamp on tissue, do something to tissue paper swap. And I chose not to do tissue paper. Instead, I did like a drop cloth paper or it was actually, an, it was a packaging paper. It was video for that is up in the corner. Or it's also at the end, but I just did a whole bunch of mists and stuff. And this is what I got back in return. So each of us got a person that we sent it off to and then we just swapped. It was just a direct, it wasn't send it to one and make a whole bunch and it caught back. It was just a direct, I send to her, she sends to me. So this is what she created. She did traditional tissue paper and she being uh, Gail Pontanowski. So thank you so much, Gail, this is beautiful. And what she did was a whole series of, this is just white tissue paper. And then she went through and she stamped all over it. And it's a little bit of all kinds of fun stuff. So she did the word dream. So she probably stamped in a bunch of places. She did some gloves, a little geisha, some flowers. There's a purse, a hat, a shoe. Um, looks like a bird stand, another hat. So it's a whole series of fun little, what I would call feminine or girly, you know, very Victorian-like kind of a feel. And this one she left plain. But then it looks like she went through and she made a note. She goes, these are ones I colored with gelatos. So I think she took a section and of the same tissue paper. This one, she just did the flowers and then she put gelatos all over them. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It really is kind of fun. So you'd have to be kind of careful when you put it on and they're dry. I mean, it's good to go. So that's a gelatos one on a really pretty little note. And then this one, she said, she goes, these are colored with metallic paints. So again, the same stamp, which is the little flower. And she took a metallic paint. I'm not sure what type of paint. Now I have to be a little bit careful pulling that out. So here's another one that she did where it's all with these really pretty metallic paints. So it looks like she just kind of went through and painted on. She probably stamped first. No, I would say she stamped second because these are too um, dark of a color. I don't know, but some of these, it looks like it's been kind of painted over. So I'm not sure which one she did first. She probably stamped first and then painted over because some of them are looking like they got painted over. And then she did a third one where she said these are colored with sprays. Let me move this one out of the way so we can see the other one. And so it did not like she did full mist. She just did kind of blotchy again with the same flower. So very pretty. And then this really whole kind of splotchy um, spray dots, just sporadic, you know, haphazard. And it's really gorgeous. I love the colors that she's picked. She picked some really beautiful color combinations. That's absolutely gorgeous with the same flower. So it's a fun way to use up some tissue paper that you would put in your presents. Same little tissue paper. It does not have to be anything fancy. Again, I did something a little bit different. I didn't stamp it. Instead, I did all these really pretty colors of mists. And it wasn't splotchy. Like it was more solid sheets. But again, you can see that video on the end. So these are her beautiful pieces. So she did gelatos. She did mists. She did metallic paints. So those are the three main ones. And then she left me one that was just stamped. She didn't do anything to it. And see the big sheets? And I'm guessing, uh, I don't know if she cut from this one or not. This one looks like it's a full sheet. But so again, so like this is just a tissue paper that you could put in with a present. But you can do so many things with this. You could cut them up and decoupage it in a mixed media book. You could put this into a scrapbook page. You could put this on a card. You could do um, an art journal. Lots of fun stuff you can do with this as a background to all kinds of things. And it reads a really cool background paper that's light. And then she sent me a couple of amazing little napkins. And this is a really pretty napkin. This is a pretty green. And this one's got some beautiful dots. And if you've never used napkins in your art journals or your scrapbook pages or anything like that, where you basically decoupage it on, try it because it was really kind of fun. It creates a beautiful background and you have all these amazing fun colors and it creates another texture that you can do all kinds of fun things with. So just another way to play with um, things that you may already have kind of hanging around by using, you can even stamp directly on the napkin and go have fun with that. You already have a background and then you just play and add more stuff to it. So don't just think paper, think out of the box and play with that and you can create all kinds of amazing things. Thanks so much, Gail. I really do appreciate all your beautiful handiwork and all your gorgeous stamps. And I love that you told me what you did with them. That is fantastic. 
Um, I may have to recreate versions of these. I kind of went a different way and I'm glad that you did something a little different than me. That way I, we can share the fun. So thanks so much. Please subscribe and talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.